welcome to biology tutor today we are going to discuss about some of the important mcqs in principles and methods of food preservation first question world food day is celebrated on world food day is celebrated on 7th june 16th october 5th june 22nd may which is the answer the answer is b 16th october is celebrated as world food day second question forastero is what is forastero a variety of cocoa a variety of tea a variety of coffee a variety of, uh, none of these which is correct the answer is a variety of cocoa forastero is a variety of cocoa third question anti nutritional factor in tea is tea contains an anti nutritional factor first one caffeine or tannin C phytates deoxalates which is the anti nutritional factor in tea is tannin b is the answer anti nutritional factor in tea is tannin fourth question thermophilic anaerobic or ts foliage is caused by disulfur to maculum nigrificans clostridium nigrificans clostridium bifermentans clostridium thermosaccharolytica which is the answer here answer is d Clostridium thermosaccharolytica. Fifth question: Spoilage of honey is due to dash. Spoilage of honey is due to first uh, choice A. Zygosaccharomyces mellis. B. Zygosaccharomyces roxi. C. Candida. D. Both Zygosaccharomyces mellis and Zygosaccharomyces roxi. Which is the answer? Your answer is D. Both A and B. Sixth question: Caffeine in coffee is present in the range of five to six percentage, one to one point eight percentage, ten to twelve percentage, twelve to fifteen per percentage. Which is the answer? Your answer is B, one to one point eight percentage. Caffeine in coffee is present in the range of one to one point eight percentage. Seven: Prolamin in rye is known as dash. Prolamin in rye is known as ordine, sacalin, zein, gliadin. Which is the answer? Here is the answer is B. Sacalin. Sacalin. Prolamin in rye is known as sacalin. Eighth question. Colostrum is very good as it is rich in protein and carbohydrate, proteins and antibodies, minerals and vitamins. D. All of the above. Colostrum is the first milk from mother and which consists of protein and carbohydrate, proteins and antibodies. Minerals and vitamins. So here answer is D. All of the above. Ninth question. A R enamel cans are used for. This is a question in canning. A R can uh, enamel cans are used for acidless foods, fruits, acid rich fruits, acid rich fruits with soluble colors, acid less fruits with soluble colors. Which is the answer. Here answer is C. Acid rich fru fruits with soluble colors. AR enamels can are used for acid rich fruits with soluble colors. Tenth question: Carmoisin is a food additive used as a dash, used as a liquefying agent or moisturizing agent, flavor or color. Here, which one is the answer? Here, answer is D. Carmoisin is a food additive used as a color. Eleventh question: Cow milk is produced from cow milk is produced from mare milk. cow milk camel milk sheep milk which is the answer here answer is mare milk cow milk is produced from mare milk a 12th question synthetic food color which is used to impart red color points you for are carmoisin tetrazine d both a and b which is the answer here answer is d both a and b points you for are carmoisin that are used to impart red color 13th question cans treated with acid resistant lacquer are coated with sr enamel ar enamel c enamel none of these which is the answer here answer is b ar enamel cans treated with acid resistant lacquer are coated with ar enamel 14th box certificate are issued by what is meant by box certificate we will discuss in the next slide this box certificates are issued by b FSSA. What is bog? Bog means blissful hygienic offering to God. 
So it is to encourage places of worship to adopt and maintain food safety and hygiene in preparation, serving and sale of art, along with training of food handlers for basic food safety and hygiene. This is Bog means blissful hygiene offering to God. Fifteenth question is the last question of this session. Gluten proteins are rich in lysine, tryptophan, methionine or glutamine. Which is the answer here? Answer is T. Glutamine. Gluten, gluten proteins are rich in glutamine. Thank you. All the best for your exam.